Soundpeats is a confusing company. They have so many wireless earbuds. So why would you buy the Air 3 Pro? Well, there are a couple of pretty good reasons. Goedendag, we're DHRME. Dutch headphone reviewers must earn. Today, we're gonna make a case for the Soundbeats Air 3 Pro, even though there are other buds you could buy at this price. The price is just about $60, so keep that in mind. These are clearly a value play, so we will evaluate them as such. This is gonna be a shortish review, so stick around to the end and let us know if you agree. Look, the design of the case and earbuds are very clearly inspired by a certain fruit-based company in Cupertino. So we're gonna give it zero points for its originality. But as a certain fruit-based company in Cupertino's founder once said, a good artist copy, a great artist steal. Well, Soundpeats have pretty much copied the AirPods Pro case and earbud design. But there are a couple of things about it that we really love. The case is about the same volume as the AirPods Pro case, but it has a nice grippy texture which makes it very satisfying to hold. It's also much lighter. The slender shape is also pocketable and not just design, these are an A plus for secure fit. Man, I have not had such a great fit from earbuds in a long while. I definitely take them out for a walk in precarious situations. I'm quite confident these will stay in my ear and not fall in some ravine. One thing that's not out of the Apple playbook, however, is the touch control. These feature a small area, like all Soundbeats buds, that lets you do everything in terms of volume control and playback. Excellent for controlling that TV volume, you know, the one at home. In terms of sound and ANC, these buds are good for their price class and all right overall. Here, listen to the ANC test for yourself. We played sound at about 70 decibels that has low end engine sounds as well as people talking so you can see or rather hear for yourself how the overall performance is. Normal mode. We think that the active noise cancelling does a decent job with low end sounds. It's not strong ANC, but more like there is some ANC. I think we also got a very good passive seal which really helps. The ANC is especially effective in eliminating low end noise like AC units or engines. The transparency is surprisingly natural sounding, however we would have liked to see a slight amplification compared to what we get. But at the end of the day it should be perfectly fine for moderate noise like when you're at home. For sound, they have a bass bump and a good frequency response, not too dark. Mids and highs are well represented. I did notice some sibilance when people spoke their S's though. What I really like is the bass on these. It's not overwhelming, but you get the thump of the sub bass and mid bass. Where these don't shine is in terms of resolution, not top of the line to my ears, despite the aptX tech on board. But it is to be expected at this price. And for me, the treble was the worst performing part. You can hear it sounding thin and disjointed at times with hi-hats and instruments in that frequency range. Also on YouTube videos or podcasts, the S's as we said are a bit uncomfortable. Unfortunately, the app didn't work for us, so there is no sound customization to be had via a first party app. If you like this video so far, hit that like button. But what do we not like about these? Well, four things. The design is unoriginal as we said, the app doesn't work yet, there's no IP rating for workouts or rain, and these are all but useless in wind. Here, have a listen. All right, so let's look at a noisy slash windy situation. It's pretty windy and I'm also walking next to a, a road with cars. 
uh, as the cars pass by, I'll keep talking. Pop, pop, popsicle, ice, ice, icicle, test, test, testing, one, two, three. Pop, pop, popsicle, ice, ice, icicle, test, test, testing, one, two, three. So, can you hear my voice well? We'll go to a windy situation now. Alright, this is the sound piece, microphone in pretty windy conditions. Uh, I'm walking here near a bridge and a canal. It's a beautiful location. Windy situation's back, so how does the microphone perform on the sound piece? Uh, there's quite a bit of wind, at least I can hear it in my microphones. Pop, pop, popsicle, ice, ice, icicle, test, test, testing, one, two, three. Alright, so one of the things about these earphones is that they're pretty much crap in windy situations because not only are the microphones not great in wind, but also when you're like... Hear that noise? Also when you're uh, listening to music, the wind makes it pretty difficult for you to hear stuff because you can hear the wind blowing through your microphone. If you want to use these earphones up for outside in the wind, in the wind uh, I was just using something else. The conclusion, the microphones are fine when it's not too noisy or windy, like when you're at home. Everything else is pretty okay here. Battery life is all right, six hours from the buds, three charges from the case. There are no bells and whistles, no wireless charging or in-ear sensors to automatically pause your music. But with the Qualcomm chip, you also get a low latency and game mode for those of you who would want that. No multipoint is to be had, but the single bud use worked pretty well. So who are these earbuds for? Well, it's simple. These are budget true wireless earbuds that are satisfactory on many levels. I'd use these as a second set for like when I'm at home, you know, doing chores and the like. Or you could be taking light walks with your dog or your baby or your baby dog. And speaking of babies, if you want to watch TV and don't want those speakers to wake up anyone at home, these are a great second set of earbuds to have. And although we don't do it, many of you ask which are good earbuds to sleep in. I found these to be all right while lying on my side at home. So that's it, the Soundpeats Air 3 Pro. Don't take them outside, home is where these buds are. You've been marveling at this coherent video and we've been DHRME. Namaste.